the best attack strategy at tunnel 15. Not only is the strategy overpowered, but its greatest strength is against anti two star bases, which make up about 80% of all bases in Clash of Clans. We will not only cover how to three star ring bases, but also a second strategy so you can also crush anti three star bases. Here is the first base we will attack, but let's first check out the army. Here is the army we will be using. I'll also leave a copy link for this in the description below. Now, for our clan castle, we will take the flame flinger with some yetis. First thing we're going to do is pick a corner and deploy our Grand Warden and deploy Kokolun as well and then all five healers and this is to funnel off this corner so now we're going to go to the opposite corner and deploy a Hog Rider and then the Flame Flinger right behind that and this the idea of this is basically for each of them to funnel off each of these corners and so I'm just going to wait right now really don't want to let them funnel anywhere past two minutes at two minutes you basically need to get going with the rest of the attack so I'm just letting our Grand Warden do what he wants here and i may just have to rage him up to speed him up as well i would really like to get that multi in there because i do not want to be side swiping that multi with our healers later on in the attack in this case i'm risking it i didn't want to use a rage spell since there wasn't a ton of buildings and so now that he's got that down I'm going to deploy our queen and then the ice golem and then the two e titans and the king out in front of them to help funnel the main troops and push them into the core of the base and our main idea of this is just to keep our troops tight as possible not only only to get the healing effect on all of our troops from the healers but also the explosive effect of the bowlers bounce within the rage spell and so now we're going to jump our, our jump spell into the town hall compartment we're going to use our one's ability it's kind of up to you where you used it i just thought it might have been a good idea since that monolith was really cracked down on our troops and you can also wait to get to the town hall but just make sure your super bowlers and troops do not die before they can do that now i do still have three rages left so I'm just going to rage up the main troops where I need them. At this point, it's a pretty good time to start using our world champion to help finish off the base. As you can see, the healers have died out by now. So any spells I want to use that we have left, I'm going to use on our world champion if we need to. But she also has her ability still. So I think she should be pretty good. And there's not a lot left. Just a few minor defenses as well as cleanup. We only have 34 seconds left. That's where these wizards can come in handy to help with the cleanup and as well as the archers and barbarians so if anything i'm just going to use these rage spells that we have remaining just to speed up these troops i'm cleaning up because we're getting very low and this is one of the kryptonites of this attack strategy is just time because the initial warden walk you got to use can be pretty time consuming that's why i suggest not to wait any longer than two minutes to get started with the main part of the attack First thing I'm going to do is pick a corner opposite side of the town hall. In this case, I'm going to deploy our warden here, then deploy a loon to test for any seeking air mines or any traps. And then the healers right behind that. And you want to be careful with these healers. Make sure they're not in range of, in this case, this air defense, because we don't want to use any extra spells on that. And the goal of this warden is going to be to funnel off this corner and ultimately that multi there. And since I don't want to run into any time fails, I'm going to have to rage him up. And it's not important that you catch the healers in the rage unless they're he's under damage he basically was under no damage so it was not a big deal so i'm gonna break the wall out in front of him of this next compartment just to prepare for later now i'm gonna deploy our queen and then the king on the opposite corner to funnel off that corner then the log launcher in between them then the ice golem and then the e titans and then all the bowlers as well as any remaining coca loons to go all into the base together as the king funnels off that corner to help keep the rest of the troops as well as our warden that got drawn to them in the court base and this log launcher is open on up this core so we don't need this jump spell quite yet i'm going to choose to pop a warden's ability as well as rage up our main troops to help them smash through here might have been able to save the rage for a little longer but we have three more of them already i'm going to rage up our queen to help her get through this monolith and it looks like our bowlers as well as the queen do walk in to get to the town hall usually you might want to jump into the town hall but the flog launcher was able to get all the way into the town hall so i'm just going to use that to cross into this scatter shots compartment and at this point is when you're going to want to deploy your royal champion to get through this back third of the base basically in most cases and we have one rage spell left i'm just going to rage her up to help her power through this last expo as well as this basically useless skeleton spell at this point and that skeleton spell actually can be very beneficial i forgot to use it it's mainly good for distracting heroes and since we only have one head under that could also be very important 